Hello and welcome to Bini Bar Academy. Today, I will briefly provide you with an introduction to the concept of option Greeks. Previously, we utilized the blackman scholes model to price European options. It considered factors such as the underlying price, strike price, risk-free rate, dividend yield, volatility, and time to maturity of the option while pricing it. Furthermore, assumptions such as stock prices being log normally distributed, also such as constant volatility and risk-free rate were considered in the Black and Scholes model while pricing options. Now, these assumptions do not hold in the real markets. Therefore, the Black and Scholes model is simplistic and set in an ideal world. It may not be accurate in pricing options, but it is a great tool for understanding risk management of options. For risk management, we need to look at the market factors and the sensitivity of option prices with respect to each factor. Now, this is done by option tweaks. So what are option tweaks? Option Greeks are metrics used to measure the sensitivity of the option price to various factors. So the reason why we call Greeks is because Greek letters are utilized to denote the sensitivity of option prices to the various factors. In mathematical finance, they're simply considered as the partial derivative of the option price with respect to the individual factors. So we can have first order derivatives, one of the examples is delta, where we would denote it delta in terms of call and put option prices. So delta essentially measures the sensitivity of the option price to changes in the underlying price. We also have second order derivatives. So one example is gamma, where gamma measures the double derivative of the option price with respect to the underlying price. It can also be interpreted as the rate of change in delta with respect to the rate of change in the underlying price. Now, we also have the example of Vana, where Vana is the derivative of the option price with respect to the change in the underlying price and change in volatility. So it can also be looked at the derivative or the sensitivity of delta with respect to changes in volatility. We also have third order derivatives where we have the Greek called speed, where speed is the triple derivative of the option price with respect to the underlying price. It's also interpreted as the double derivative of delta with respect to the underlying price or the derivative or the sensitivity of gamma with respect to changes in the underlying price. So, Greeks essentially allow the position of the option or the portfolio which holds um, options in, in addition to multiple assets to be rebalanced in accordance to changing market factors. So hence they're vital for risk management. Now the Greeks, as we learn, are the derivative of the pricing function with respect to market factors. So despite the drawbacks of the Black and Scholes model, it is the simplest approach towards obtaining Greeks. In reality, obviously more complicated and complex models are utilized. However, let's continue with the Black and Scholes uh, model during the series in order to understand the option Greeks. So let's set V to represent the value of the option regardless of whether it is a call or a put option. And let's discuss some of the commonly used option Greeks. The first one being delta. So delta as discussed earlier is the change in the option price with respect to change in the underlying price. And it captures the impact of changing underlying prices on the option price. Next, we have gamma, which is the change in the delta 
with respect to change in the underlying price or the double derivative of the option price with respect to the underlying price. It essentially is used for cal uh, calculating the rate of change of delta. Next, we have theta, which captures the sensitivity of the option price with respect to maturity. So it essentially captures the time decay of option of the option premium as the option edges closer to maturity. We also have Vega, which measure, measures the change in the option price with respect to volatility and captures the impact of changing expectations regarding future volatility, or essentially the change in the option price with respect to change in implied volatilities. And finally, we have Rho, which is not as commonly used as the aforementioned above. It captures the sensitivity of the option price with respect to changes in the interest rate. So what we're going to do in the following videos is try and discuss these tweaks in more detail. So for the next video, we will discuss Delta in more detail. Stay tuned.